Hello, beautiful! Today we're going to be talking about self-esteem and contrary to popular belief, it's not, it's not just what you look like. It's about what's on the inside as well. Um, it's not just about feeling good, but it's about liking and loving yourself or who you are, all your flaws and all, no matter what. Yeah, and it's not something that comes easy, you know, it was something for me that I realized that you kind of grow into as you gain more confidence in yourself. Yeah, and figure out who you are. You just gotta you really do have to get comfortable with yourself and who you are. Yeah. You really have to you really have to face your demons like and learn to accept yourself. And if there's something about you that you don't like, like for example, if you're a selfish person, well then and you know it, then go ahead and work on that. Fix it. Yeah. So that you can start to accept yourself because you love yourself. Working on yourself is definitely, it's mm -hmm. definitely a journey and loving yourself is a journey too. It's an active process that you always do. And it's not easy. Because <laughs> <laughs> as we all know, nothing worthwhile comes easy. Unless you're a narcissist. <laughs> but honestly, <laughs> narcissism is a disorder. So you don't want to be a narcissist. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with knowing that there are flaws in yourself. Like I know that I'm the most patient person ever. I am not <laughs> the kindest person all the time. I know that I'm way too blunt in some situations and they're all things that I know I need to work on. So it's nothing that offends me if someone points it out or or I get weird looks if I say something I'm like okay well you know I should have said that. But I mean it's all something that we learn. Life is a learning experience. If you're not learning you're not alive. So I mean, you, you, have to, have, you have to fall in order to learn. But even but even that said, like sometimes things that you think that are flaws in yourself are actually strength. They're just in the wrong place. Like her bluntness is just sometimes I'm too I'm too nice. They tell it to me all the time. You should see the people. I'm telling you, you should see the people that approach me. It's well, when she's around, the, the safety this is just all there. It's just I, it's like the, my my niceness and her her. I'm not taking that crap. We balance. We balance out each time, so it just it it what you see as a weakness may not. Because I told in the last video, I said uh, artists criticize themselves a lot, and people criticize themselves. You're your biggest critic, and sometimes that's your strength. Crazy, but it is. It's your strength. Yeah, and then you know, with with uh, the pressures of the media nowadays, you know, you see all these, um, especially for my for the women out there, for the young girls, you know, you see these beautiful, beautiful women that are size double zero and you think that that's the standard of beauty when it's really not. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Um, you shouldn't do anything unhealthy to try and fit some standard of beauty that you think someone else has. Because that's not self-esteem. That's not. That's, that's not, not. self-esteem. Trying to be something that you are not is not self-esteem and thinking that oh you know if I lose more if I lose 10 pounds I'll be prettier that's not self-esteem either it's it's being satisfied with who you are who you are now whatever stage you are in your life I mean we all look different Heavenly, Jamie, well, we, we look different we're different sizes, different colors, uh, different personalities, different character traits but you know what we each love each other for who we are Definitely. I mean it took I know it took me a while because uh, I used to genuinely the only reason I can even <laughs> say this is because I used to genuinely think, you know, if I lose 10 pounds, you know, I'll be I'm cute. I just need to lose weight. I swear. I said that in the <laughs> mirror all the time. Because I used to be much larger. I was 220 pounds, guys. It took me years to get down to this. Years. I mean, I would work out harder than my friends. They would skip yeah, halfway through yeah. the video. They would lose weight. I'd lose nothing. Like, I lost weight that slowly. And then I realized the other day, you know, even when I was chubby, I was still beautiful. But I didn't know it then. I really didn't know it then. I thought it was, you know, just about my physical body. I didn't realize what I had to offer as a person, a personality, as a whole package. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I feel like it's hard to see if it's you. Like you can always look at someone else and go, wow, Danny's beautiful. But then she'll go, wow, Jamie, you look beautiful. And I'm like, no, it's okay. And it's something I have to work on because what we see and how others perceive us is completely different. Like, I remember when I went to get a makeup consultation once and I don't remember where I was or what brand it was, I'm sure I don't use it anymore. But I remember I was getting color matched and the lady was putting the foundation on me 
to just, you know, check to see if it matched and see if it didn't irritate my skin. And she was putting it on and when she was done, she let me see it. And I was like, oh, well, can I have a bit more coverage because I can see um, my skin coming through, I can see dark spots. And she was like, well, I don't see anything, but if you want to, you can build the coverage. And I was like, no, like, it's like, on. you can see it, like, everyone can see it. <laughs> my mom comes over and she's like, no, you can't see anything. And it took a while for me to realize that I could see it and no one else could see it. And I think it's all part of our perception of ourselves. And I know that now I, I still have acne scarring and it's not that bad. And I know like <laughs> I'll be coming over and I'll tell Heavenly like, yeah, my scarring is really bad and it's dark and you can see it if I don't have, if I don't wear makeup, so I wear makeup. And she goes, oh, okay. But every time I'm around her without makeup on, I'm just like, and she goes, oh, your makeup looks really nice today. I'm just like, I don't have any makeup. And she's like, oh, well, your skin looks really nice today. I'm like, okay. So I think it's just really important to, you know, just realize that some things, it's just you because you're focused on them because they're your imperfections and it's not everyone else can see it. And it's just something that we have to deal with and we grow out of. Don't be, yeah, don't be too hard on yourself, guys, um, because everyone has flaws. No one is perfect. No one's perfect. Um, and it's also important to, it's also important to be around people who are positive. Be around people who aren't going to break you down, um, not going to try and, they're not going to issue you more. Exactly. And you know, and it, it really is their issue. It is. It's, it's their issue. I remember when I uh, first, before I even started losing, working on my weight loss and everything like that, uh, just I ha I know a lot of people in my life who actually, they called me chubby or they said really mean things to me, you you overeat. And the, the thing is, I, I wasn't an overeater. Mm. And, I uh, eat more than her. Definitely. And I uh, eat more than her. <laughs> she eats more than both of us. It's true. But I, I worked on it for, for a while and they were like, you know, I would date you if you lost weight. Guys at, in high school wrong, horrible people. And then when I did start losing weight, they're like, you're, you're anorexic, you don't eat, you must starve yourself. And I was just like, no. And, it, and it's funny because I, it wasn't like a dramatic weight loss change. I worked on it through the years. And it's, it's not a reflection of me or it's not a reflection of you. It's genuinely the things that come out of people's mouths are a reflection of themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, if you face, if you're facing any type of negativity, just walk away because you don't need that in your life. Um, you guys are beautiful just as you are. Genuinely are. Yeah. yeah. And it's okay to have things you want to work on, like, but you should be doing it for yourself and no one else. Yeah. Not for anyone. Never for anyone else. Never to please anyone. Never to, um, you know, with, with social media and, and just media as a whole nowadays, there's such high standards set for, especially women. There's such high standards of, Pressure. of beauty. Yeah. You know, you're seeing all these supermodels that have. Not flawless even, skin, not even supermodels. Not even just beauty, not even just beauty, just the pressure to be someone else's entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that is not what you're here for. You're not a scene, you're not a movie. I mean, you're a person, you're a human being, and you're not here just to be somebody's spectacle or uh, somebody that they just skim through and look at your photos. You, 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 there's a purpose for you. And whatever that is and whatever you find it, when you sit there and you commit yourself to entertaining others, you lose yourself in the process. You forget who you are because you do something long enough, you become that. Yeah. Shallow. Yeah, and then over time it's like, who am I? <laughs> who am I? So, um, you know, just it all comes with acceptance of you, being comfortable with who you are, surrounding yourself with a positive support system, you know, friends, family. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anybody. Yeah anybody that you can be around because at the end of the day you're gonna have to live with yourself no one else none of those people on all those social media uh, websites no many how many likes you get on Facebook whatever it is you have to live with yourself in the decisions that you make and you, you, you have to face yourself at the end of the day and you have to ask yourself when you're going through even though they may not like it mm -hmm. am I gonna be comfortable with this at the end of the day what's right for them may not be right for you at whatever po point you are in your life and you should respect that. You should respect where you are and who you are. Yeah. And I think it's really important to take criticism, but always take it with a grain of salt. And you always, if someone says, well, you wear too much of this color. I mean, well, you like that color, so that's fine. 
But if someone says, wow, or you were a little mean to that person today, you'd be like, no, I wasn't. That's usually the first reaction. But it's okay to think like, well, you know, maybe I could have been a little nicer or maybe I could have worded that differently. Because just like you're working on yourself and you're growing as a person, other people are trying to do the same. So try to always be considerate. <laughs> now, hopefully, 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 everyone's trying to be a better hopefully, version of yes. themselves. <laughs> but if not, that's their problem. Exactly. It's still, yeah, yeah, that's their problem. You work on your growth. You work on your self-esteem because again, it's a journey. It takes time. Um, and yeah, yeah, people always say, "If I'd known then, would I know now? <laughs> yeah. I would have done blah blah blah. Where's the cane? Where's the cane? I would have done blah blah." <laughs> and you know, um, yeah. Most times when people tell you something, you, you can learn what not to do. Just look at them, <laughs> look at their life, and they're telling you advice, and you just smile at them. You say, you know what, I appreciate your input, you know, and, and just continue doing it. Mm -hmm. That's the main yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. Just do you. I like it. Yeah. Okay, and so right. thank you for joining us for this week's Tea Time. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, any topics you want us to talk about, please uh, comment below or visit one of our social media sites, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatnot. And we'll see you next week. Like, love, and subscribe. <laughs> Ow. <laughs>